good morning good afternoon good evening whenever wherever you're watching this video my name is martin morage son of moravi and as you can tell i'll be making a video today about ufc 243 it is my first in a series of videos hopefully where i'll be making predictions on fights and uh this one's gonna be a good one good people so uh let's get down to it and i hope oh i disclaimer i am not an expert i do not have any winnings from making bets or anything this is just a entertainment for me and uh to grow my youtube and stuff make it more entertaining so anyway good people we're gonna start over here with the prelims let me pick some brushes and the color they already picked and I think the Taha and Silva are fighting first and uh, for this one it's a bantamweight I'm gonna pick Taha to win that's my pick that's not a really good circle over there but you get it let me pick a circle instead of a um, that so I think Taha's gonna win I don't know anything about Taha so uh, is gonna win my predictions uh the second fight prelim it's gonna be kasem versus kim i hate to pick a oh man i'm gonna pick kim because I, I don't know i think she's chinese there's the chinese after wei li zhang these chinese are about to do some badass stuff in the ufc even africans too wait 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 till you see good people i don't know anything just speeding my uh my bs and then the prelims oh think the first fight megan anderson versus fame fame zara fame uh, she has a good first name but i'm gonna pick megan anderson i don't know i have i haven't seen zara fame fight before but I've seen Megan Anderson fight and she's a beast. Next fight is Riddell versus Malaki. On this fight, I'm picking Malaki just because of the name. I got, you know, like there's some names, you know, <laughs> and it's probably also pretty good, you know, but uh, I'm picking Malaki to win on this one. I don't know, so feel free to tell me what you think. Leave comments, you know, call me on my BL, say how I picked wrong. If you win, if you pick, if you pick my my my, my uh, if you if you pick your prediction based on my on, on my prediction, and you end up winning, feel free to send me you know like ten percent of your winnings. If you lose because you picked my predictions, I uh, hope it's a lesson. You learn, you grow. Next fight is gonna be a welterweight fight between Porter and Pitolo. Again, I know nothing about these two guys. And, uh, man, Pitolo has a mean face in that picture, man. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick Pitolo. And then that's it. And then on the next one, Matthews versus Ackman. Man, I'm gonna pick Jake Matthews on that one. I know a little bit of Jake about Jake Matthews, but not enough to tell you what he's done. Just I know the name. Ooh, and now in the main event of the evening, good people. Not the main event, but the main card of the evening. The first fight is gonna be Tafa T A F A versus De Castro. I think is De Castro is Cuban. I know Tafa is a Kiwi or probably. I think he's a Kiwi. I'm gonna pick the Kiwi to win that one. Like that's uh. Oh, and then the next one, Jamo versus Diego Lima. I'm gonna pick Diego Lima just because of name recognition, good people. I cannot tell you what he's done in the in the past like i said i am not an aficionado of mma or 
UFC. I just watched like a few fights every now and then. Next fight, Bam Bam Tuivasa is fighting Spivak. Now, this was a tough prediction because I don't know. I haven't heard much about Spivak and uh, I think he's either Russian or somewhere from Eastern Europe. And they make some tough people from over there, but I know I've seen Tuivasa fight, get tested. He went against the best of the best. He went against JDS. And uh, it was a it, it was a tough loss, a good lesson, hopefully, for him. And I uh, think he's going to come back strong on this one. Oof. The co-main event, good people. Now, this is... Now, I'm torn over here, good people. I love Raging Owl. Ever since I saw him, like, uh, fight Khabib, I liked him. But after seeing, like, what... Cowboy Cerrone did to him in his last fight. Oh, I'm going to go with TJ Hooker on this one. I don't know. There's something about the guys from City Kickboxing. and Maybe girls too. I don't know if they have girls over there. But they're pretty good. They're pretty good. And, and Hooker's one of them. And then good people. Finally, we're in the main event of the evening. Robert Whittaker, Easy Adesanya, and I have to smoke a bowl for that one, good people. I thought Easy already, aka the style bender, I thought he already had the fight of the year, him against Kelvin, Kelvin Gastelum. I was telling a friend of mine, like, after watching that fight, I watched it live. Like, I was tired. Like, when the fight was finally over, I felt tired like I had been in it. I, I, like, I'd been in the ring or running or something, you know? That's how exciting it was. And, man, the Reaper, Robert Whittaker, you know, like, he's been getting a lot of heat because of uh, only fighting twice or defending his belts twice in like two years or something. And that's something to be said when you go, I don't know, you know, like when you go to a battle, a war, that's what I think it was. Like if you watch his first fight against Romero, Yoel, that was a good fight. That was a, I don't know if he won fight of the year, but it was a pretty good fight. And then, you know, like after that fight, you have to take some time off to recover. Yoel is a beast. And then fight him again, get a rematch against him again, you know? Man. And some people have been talking about ring rust. And I actually think Whitaker has the advantage in this match because of actually how much he's been out of the ring. He's had time to recover. He's still been practicing. I don't think he's been sitting on the couch playing video games all day. But... He's recovered. He's at his best. Easy has been fighting a lot, like six six fights in 14 months. Like they'll, they'll take a toll. Luckily for him, he doesn't get hit much. But against that Kelvin Gastelum fight, he got hit a bunch. And hopefully he's recovered. And I'm sorry to go on my ramble over here, but I'm going to make my pick. It was really hard one over here. Good people like... I, I'm going with, I'm actually going with my heart over here. My head, my head says Whitaker. My heart says easy. And those are my picks, good people. I, I'm, I'm going to save them. I'm going to share them in a few, in my social media today. If you, if, if you, uh, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'm, at Moragez, M-U-R-A-G-E-Z, Z, to uh, British-speaking English people. Uh, TikTok, I'm the same, Moragez, M-U-R-A-G-E-Z. You can find me on TikTok. You can find me on uh, Twitter, at Martin Moravi. That's M-U-R-I-I-I-T-H-I. Follow me on YouTube. And uh, 
I hope to see you. Tell me what you think of this video. Should it be longer? Should it be shorter? Should I uh, do more homework before I make my picks? I don't know. Maybe you do. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Maybe next week. I think there's a fight card next week. So thank you. Adios. Happy fight night, good people.